karma yoga is a practice and it is a relation also between relation and practice there is no difference in the relation there is a, in the practice there is a sense of i am doing in the relation there is a sense of no i am not doing i am not the doer this always the difference action is same but the understanding is very different what is karma yoga when you do something i am not attached to the result okay but i am very focused on the result being focused and being attached to the result they are very different i want to hit a arrow bull sign okay what is the concentration required fully is there that's why ichcha shakti gnana shakti kriya shakti will become maximum in a karma yogi peak okay so then he will focus and hit the arrow so now ichcha shakti has to be very clear because otherwise ichcha shakti even if the desire goes here and there or mind goes here and there it will not hit the arrow gnana shakti is still fully because you have to be very very focused intention should be very focused right kriya shakti is action these three will maximally manifest in the kriya the karma yoga in the inner to outer so now in the inner to outer to manifest there is upasana shakti is also coming upasana is visualization there is actually power of visualization so in the in the in the bhakti yogi he will visualize something visualize the deity now here the visualization is what do i do to the deity who is outside the entire world is the god what do i do there is a visualization and there is a greater form of visualization that's why i say always you start puja at the puja room then you go and do it the world the world is ishwara so it is very difficult for people to understand world is ishwara they think one form of devi one form of god is ishwara and nothing else is ishwara to the extent that they get confused they keep giving upasana of god in some white dress suppose god comes in yellow dress then you, can, you, you want to accept you reject it so that much of a reality they develop so that's why real bhakti happens real devotion is when you go and do service that's what i say because now you are going to the reality world is real to you in that reality you do the upasana it is very difficult for people to do that because they think that sitting and closing eyes and doing some upasana is the better because then you are running away from the world you cannot run away from the world world is ishwara you cannot run away from that so upasana has to be done in the outer world that upasana what you do in the outer world is karma yoga that's why i say karma yoga is a devotional service it is not just a service if you just do it service it becomes dharma it will give punya but it becomes devotional service it will become purificatory devotion service is called bhakti bhakti and karma coming together bhakti is entire ish- world i am seeing as ishwara that is the bhakti okay so now people don't people do in the bhakti yoga or devotion service they don't get the bhakti because they think that puja is the final puja has to be translated into karma yoga in the puja what you do offering phalam samarpayami pushpam samarpayami i am offering to whom that they don't offer to a living god a animal comes the god is living through that animal that they don't understand they may give some water or something to uh, a idol but they don't give water to the animal so then what happens they are they are missing the reality so that they spend many many years in that level of reality which is visualized but that's okay because that's what they are but finally when it comes to the karma bhakti yoga devotion it has to be in the world because world everything is the same as god that's why we worship river as god okay river is a form of god stone is a form of god tree is a form of god are you able to see the god everywhere in the universe is called karma yoga so for that, that is a purification process and that itself is upasana in that upasana the mind becomes intensely focused their real karma yogi his mind will be like a laser sharp and he can focus on any topic that is the laser sharpness which you develop through karma yoga and he is always successful in life because no failure will stop him the failure will learn and improve failure will learn and improve now here the improvement in the actual karma and karma yoga is different in actual karma he become failure he failure will ho oh, he understand i failed i'm depressed i am ashamed like that will happen so he can't proceed further this in karma yoga i is not important the goal is important the higher ideal ideal whatever that higher ideal is loka kalyana or god ishwara becomes important so then he focuses constantly his mind is like a razor sharp in fact i can recognize karma yogi anywhere mind in action is so sharp and so focused that's karma yoga now in this all vasanas will drop 
i me mine everything will drop his focus is only service what service now will service improve the world nothing service world is like that world is given as a tool a laboratory world is given to you as a gymnasium this i call as spiritual gymnasium Sp- gymnasium we go to lift the weight more the weight you lift more stronger you become so the more you do practice in the world as karma yoga the more you will be free it is not to you you are there it is given as a gym so you take a challenge you take bigger and bigger challenge or tougher tougher challenges the more tougher challenges you take more you will grow in the strength in the strength of focus concentration and not get you getting distracted by any thoughts and very powerful ichcha shakti imagination power to make any karma successful you have to visualize what is to be done clearly and you have to focus on that so all those shaktis will develop ichcha shakti dnana shakti kriya shakti fully in the karma yoga whereas in upasana it is a mental level so they they cannot focus on anything else in karma yoga they will be able to focus completely because these all these things align with the outer world outer world you can't deny it's unreal no the building is there people are there at that moment it's real so now you are practicing with the reality that's why for me karma yoga is the highest form of upasana it's a devotional service if you may just make it a service it becomes social service then it becomes dharma then it will uplift you it will give you punya but devotional service purifies you entire focus is how do i purify myself oh when i'm doing this my mind is deviating i should focus so they constantly are developing ichcha shakti dana shakti kriya shakti that is actually karma yoga now each person has a different path some people think their world is unreal then they will, they want to deity god is god has powers shaktis various shaktis so their purpose is that to start upasana of god to get some shaktis for example i am suffering in life okay there are enemies they start doing some upasana of some devata because they want to invoke this invoke the shakti of devata in the, and devatas the various types of devatas which are given in upanishads and vedanta is for them to focus their yantras mantras tantras everything helping them to focus and visualize clearly and the deity becomes real to them and the deity guides to them unlike your uh, other practices right if somebody has hallucination he sees some god but then that hallucination if it is hallucinatory god then he will fall because he will start imagining some things whereas a real upasana has done for vedanta or tantra the deity who is deity who appears will you guide you in the higher path will purify you there are uchcha devatas niche devatas will make you fall so that's why that uh, you have to go to uchcha devatas they have to go to uchcha devatas but still not they, they don't understand that the world is nothing but a form of god for them the god means some form so they are stuck to that for them there is a path spiritual journey there is perse people there are people who are who understood the reality of the world and who are focused on the reality of the world they think that people are real person is real my friend is real so they do they get attached to them okay now same attachment is converted into spiritual journey by many people who understand for example husband and wife in many early days the wife has no other way wife cannot do anything else wife has to be taking care of the family right so that they converted their opportunity husband and child they started looking husband and child as a form of god so whatever they did to the husband and child became a upasana for them the karma yoga became upasana now the difference between upasana of upasana in the mental visualization and karma yoga is the power of the deity is appearing through the husband and the child and family members by karma yoga that's the meaning of many of the ancient women they are called sati anusuya all the sati they are not told just like that they converted their day to day activity into upasana that's why shri basavana says kayake kailasa the work itself can you can convert into worship work itself can be any work can be converted into opportunity to worship worship means purification so karma karma yoga is intensely purifying when you focus so now that is the people of type of woman they become sati anusuya they become develop intense mental the intense powers intense purification coming through karma yoga every work they did they did as a offering to god to purify themselves that's why in many of our our hist ancient texts are very uh, extol their weighty uh, this thing 
greatness okay now there's other type of people for them they are already in the higher path they know they worship you they they hum they worship god through human beings and they do it very well they they become very efficient in what they do because of the desire siddhi of karma yoga okay they got siddhis because they un- right from the day one they started worshiping they started taking their service work they would work work they doing as a worship of god so that means they have gone to already mahalakshmi many divine qualities benefit them whereas there are people who worship other people without no without knowledge of god thinking that human beings are real they are my friend they are my uncle they are my uh, classmate or they are my close friend they are also worshiping but they are not worshiping god they are worshiping human beings okay now that worship is of zero because ultimately you are worshiping god only god only is there in everything that's the meaning of akashat patitam toyam yathagatim sagarha sarva deva namaskara kesham pratigachini when the uh when there's a rain right all rain will go to ocean like that even though you think that you are worshiping human being you are identify human being you are attached to human being it is a god who is receiving that he knows then what he does he sends kali the time to drop you from the attachment then you start getting hurt then you start getting fearing then you start crying then you take a spiritual path okay then you may go through a path where you go through upasana start another visualization but most of the people they they make they can skip also they can straight away go to dhana so in that then get a atma dhana then now you are going to saraswati skipping the mahalakshmi developing qualities then path given to them is prescribed prescribed path to given to them is karma yoga because you are already know that what you are thinking in the world you know human beings are real so now the human beings are real not as human beings but god to service to them then you get purified so karma yoga is the path given to these people so the karma yoga is not just given like randomly it is given because of this reason and karma yoga is not a yoga oh i will do something and i'll attain god karma yoga is the way that nani operates nani operates everything without the doership so in when you do karma yoga if you have doership function like it nani okay without doership even if you think there's a doership it's that's really false so that false sense understanding falsehood comes through dhana so then karma yoga becomes not a karma yoga practice for you karma yoga becomes a way of life so nani when he teaches karma yoga he's not teaching you as a practice he's teaching you as a way of life so why it's taught to you because